Hello everyone. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, here in France, it's not Thanksgiving. They don't have Thanksgiving, obviously. And so I completely forgot about it. And people start saying, oh yeah, they're, they're coming home for the holidays. And I'm like, what's happening? What are y'all doing? And people are like, Thanksgiving. And I'm like, oh yeah. Okay. And then I realized this morning, oh, it's also my little brother's birthday. Fell on the same day this year. And so, yeah, I'll have to FaceTime the family later and say hi. They'll probably want me to sing happy birthday to them. But anyway, I got quite a few questions this time to answer. First of all, what is your most prized possession in France? Maybe a special thing you brought from home, something someone has sent you, other than your passport and other identification. Of course. Uh... I'm not really sure. I really like my purse that I bought here. Uh, it's, I just really like the purse. Um, I've already shown it to you all, but it's the black one that I bought. But yeah, I, I like my purse and I bought a couple of dresses that I really like. I'm not used, I don't usually wear dresses, but I really like these. So I've started wearing them a lot. They're very comfy. And let's see, another one. How do the mall prices compare to our malls? It depends on the store. It's about the same. Like, there are really nice stores that are super expensive that, you know, you look at a price tag and then you just sort of back out of the store. And then there are, you know, the really, really cheap ones, which there aren't many of those here. And then there's, you know, the reasonable prices ones. Um... Those are the ones that I go to because I have a limited budget. Uh, yeah, and then, let's see here. Are there any stores there, here, that we have in the malls in the U.S.? Uh, yeah, um, not a ton. Like, there's Starbucks. I don't know if that counts as a store, but there's Starbucks. There's Starbucks everywhere. And Claire's, if you are a guy, you probably don't know what Claire's is. If you are a girl, you most definitely probably know what Claire's is. I really like Claire's. Um, yeah, I have been doing some shopping recently. I've been getting my Christmas gift slash souvenirs for a family of friends. I haven't got anything from Claire's because we have so many Claire's in the U.S. that wouldn't really be memorable. Uh, I can't show you the presents <clears throat> because... Some of the people that are going to be receiving them probably watch these videos as well. And that would ruin the surprise. So, sorry. Maybe... No, sorry. I don't think you're going to get to see him. <laughs> um, let's see here. Before we move on to the next questions, uh, I forgot to mention another member of this family. Uh, they have a cat who lives outdoors. His name is Panisse. I call him Fatso because... You know, he's fat, and he tried to bite me. I, I can, like, give him one or two pets, but then he's like, Rawr. So, I call him Fatso. Out loud, not just in my head. I'm like, hey, Fatso. Every afternoon when I get back from school. School's going well. Er, I think I have three weeks and two days left of school. And then, like, the Saturday after the last day of school, I'll be... Heading home, and then it's like a week till Christmas. So yeah, yes, I will show you. So, oh uh, yeah, I forgot. Apologies. Somebody, several people actually wanted to see my room and the view out my window. So I will show you my room and the view out my window. So this is my room, standing in front of a door, and then my bed. There's a bookshelf full of books about economics, mostly in French. Don't know who those belong to. I have a bunch of snacks down there on the bottom shelf. Uh, my little workspace, desk. Yes, this is it. I have a sink in my room. So cool. I, I my clothes are in there, and I have a little vanity type thing. Yes, those are the presents that people are going to be getting. They are covered, so you cannot see them. Suitcase, chair, my little thing where I hang up clothes and towel, shoes and dirty clothes. And yeah, that's the view out the window. It's 
sometimes you can see people like in front of the windows smoking whatever one more question that someone had have you purchased anything that you absolutely cherish as the one thing that will always remind you of france well there's food but that's gone any food that i've bought is gone except for my snacks down there <laughs> and that doesn't really count i just like the food mm, maybe the dresses <laughs> the purse i'm trying to think, probably not yet, but there's nothing that I absolutely cherish that will always remind me of France. No. No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Anyway, there was another question. Somebody asked about my friend that I mentioned, Sophia. We go to school together. Uh, she's from Mexico. She speaks really good English, so... Yeah, we, we really speak mostly English together. Uh, she actually spent a year in Tennessee you know, as, a, as an exchange student. And it wasn't that far from where I live, so it was like, oh, no way, that's so cool. But yeah, we're, we kind of, we hang out. She has afternoon classes, so we can't do anything in the afternoon. But on weekends, I think this weekend, we're going to go to the Christmas market, which I think is opening up maybe today or yesterday or something. Uh, in the center, which is on the other side of the town across the river, uh, which I will be showing pictures of the old side of the town soon. Uh, uh, next question says, <clears throat> I traveled to London a couple of years ago and noticed they are less wasteful than the, we Americans are, meaning, for example, bathrooms have auto dryers, no paper towels, no heat or air conditioners, and they don't have an abundance of napkins, etc., something which, you know, is more noticeable in the United States. And is this the same experience for you in France? Paris, maybe. Th that's, that's a good question. I had never really thought about that. I would say it's about the same in the United States. I mean, maybe they are, a, they are less wasteful, but not so obviously so as it seems England, London is. Uh, that's a good question. I hadn't really thought about that at all, but it, it's about the same. Maybe a bit less wasteful, though. And it says, when we were in London, we noticed it got very dark very early in the day, about 3 p.m., and light very early as well. Do you find this to be the case where you are? It doesn't get light very early. It starts to get light about, like, for real, about 8.30. Uh, but it gets dark about five, so we don't have very many hours of daylight, I guess. Not really. Yeah, it's about 4.15 right now, so in, you know, in an hour it'll be pretty dark. I don't like being out in the dark, though, and, and on this side of town, so I usually just stay in. And next question. Your host family seems very nice, according to your description. Did you have, do you have dinner around the table, and do they watch TV together, etc.? I'm guessing, in other words, tell us more about the family. Um, I, I can't give out too much information, obviously. Um, they are very nice. Um, the little kids are very sweet with me. They, they do sometimes watch TV together. Sometimes the kids are watching TV while the mom is working on something. Um, sometimes they'll watch the news while we're eating. I do eat, uh, supper with them. I have to provide my own lunch, which... Turning out, I'm rather enjoying that, you know. I mean, I have an allowance for each week, which is, you know, all the money I get, I can use it on food or gifts, shopping, whatever. And so I I try to use as little as possible for food, uh, which means I'm, I'm learning a lot about budgeting while I'm here. Uh, buying some things, in more things in bulk than just buying like a meal every day at the boulangerie, the bakery that's right down the street from the school. And of course, I'm cutting back on desserts a lot. If I want like a snack type thing, like I have Snickers bars over there, I get like a big pack of lots of little ones, which will last me like two or three weeks. I got a bottle of sirop. Yeah, sirop, like syrup uh, that you put in water to make it taste different. 
I think you know what I'm talking about. And I think I bought that two weeks ago, and it should probably last me the rest of the time I'm here. And it was like, it couldn't have been more than three euros, which is about like $3, well, a little bit more than $3 for that, so that was worth it. And I buy these boxes of like cereal bars. They have six in each box. So I get one every Monday and have one at break every day at school during the half hour break we have. And that'll last me a week. So I only have to buy one a week. And I need, I bought eggs. <laughs> I've, uh, I'm, it feels very grown up buying eggs. <laughs> like it's one of the staples that you buy. I mean, I've bought eggs for my family before, obviously, when I did the grocery shopping, but never bought eggs for myself. I mean, I'm making lists now, thinking, okay, I have to choose. Do I want eggs or do I want candy? Obviously, I want candy, but I buy the eggs because that will last me, like, two lunches. Because they have, like, the small egg cartons with six instead of 12. <laughs> It sounded like I was eating six eggs in one meal. I don't, I don't think I can do that. So yeah, apart from French, I'm also learning about budgeting. Uh, very good lessons to learn. I, I'm pretty sure I have enough money still to do some shopping at the Christmas market, which speaking of which, just reminded me, uh, last weekend some friends and I rented a car and did a little, had a little weekend excursion. It was really fun. The weather was kind of bleh, but it was fun. We went to Lille, which is uh, more north. It took us several hours to get there, and then we spent that afternoon and evening wandering around Lille. We, they had a big Christmas market. That was what made me think of it. It was so cool. They had an enormous, enormous Ferris wheel and, like, some Christmas rides, and they had, like, this fake snow blowing up in the air. It was really cool. And at first I was like, oh, this stinks. It's just so cold and rainy and I hate it. And then we went, then we had supper and I had a really good meal and I felt a lot better. And we went through the the Christmas market and I bought a beignet. Uh, it's really, really soft bread that you can get anything on it. You can have just a plain sugar one, uh, jam, Nutella, there's other options, but I just had a plain sugar one, and they heat it up in the microwave, and it's so good. It is the most delicious thing ever. It's just so sugary and soft. Oh, it's really good. I should have taken a picture, but I ate it too fast. I complete. I was not thinking about pictures when I was eating this beignet. It was so good. But anyway, enough about food. Let's see. I have my list of things I need to talk about. Um, oh yes, several people commented that I seem a lot happier in this place than where I was before. That is true. Um, I do like my situation better. I'm not saying I didn't like the other place. But I, I really do like it a lot more here because I don't have classes in the afternoon. I have a lot more independence and freedom to come up with my own schedule and what I want to do. Um, before I was more, I was more of a part of the family, you know, I had to take what they were doing into consideration. Here, I'm sort of just another boarder, <clears throat> um, and so, you know, if I'm gonna go out and eat with my friends at night, that's fine. I just need to say, oh, I'll probably not be here tonight, and they're like, okay, bye, see you later. And I've, I've kind of figuring out how the bus works, so, you know, it's a lot easier to go places now. One last question that somebody had asked was about the school, if there were any other Americans. I'm the only American. I think I'm the only native English speaker there. I have been the whole time since I've been here. Uh, obviously, pretty much everyone speaks a little bit of English, but I'm the only American. And now, as promised, I will show you all some of the pictures from the old town. This is actually from my side of the town. It's the Jardin des Plantes. This is the Seine River. It divides the two sides of the town, the old side and the new side. This is the biggest cathedral on the old side of town. Really beautiful. I don't have pictures of the inside. That's a bit of the garden area and this little statue that I found. <laughs> and these are just some of the pretty streets in town showing off some of the architecture, makes it look very old. 
Very beautiful. I really like it. This is the Grand Horloge, the big clock. This is the Citadel in Lille. These are just some houses along a riverbank that I thought were really pretty. And this is a chateau, not in Lille, but somewhere on our way back. We did not get to see the inside, one, because it is winter and they're not open during the winter, and two, because it was Sunday and they don't open on Sundays ever.